Hello, and welcome to another edition of the Michael Cruz Show. I'm your host, Darian Washington, and with me today is the head coach of the Maslin Tigers, Michael Cruz. We want to thank our sponsor, Reliable Heating and Cooling. Coach, your Tigers opened the Division I tournament with a win at home last night over Youngstown East, 60-55. to What impressed you the most about the game? Uh, well, the, the most important thing is that we had more points than them at the end, obviously. Uh, you know, at this time of year, uh, it, it's such a special time because you either win or go home. And, you know, we told the guys after the game, more than half the teams, high school teams in the state of Ohio, season is over and ours is still, you know, still going on. So certainly pleased with the win. I thought our guys uh, did a good job offensively, especially in the second half of moving the ball well. Um, thought we did a better job of, uh, of pushing and transition in the second half, which was good. And defensively, I actually thought we played a really good game. Uh, unfortunately, we just didn't do a good enough job on the glass to hold them to one shot. Going into the game, how did you feel about your team's preparation over the last week? We've actually been preparing for this game uh, since the tournament draw came out. Um, you know, obviously, uh, we've ramped up the preparation uh, over the last, I'd say, week and a half. Um, but we felt good. Um, I don't think that they ran anything that we didn't expect. Uh, you know, I think that our guys knew what each of their players liked to do and what their strengths were and what their weaknesses were. But like we tell our guys at the end of the day, um, you know, the players on the floor are way more important than the coaches because they're the one that has to go out and execute it. And uh, I thought our guys did a good job of executing our game plan for the most part. How do you think your team did handling all of the emotions that players feel come tournament time? Uh, you know, I, I think that we did a good job. I thought uh, that we were pretty composed the whole time. Uh, the, unfortunately, we didn't close out the game like we wanted to. Too many late turnovers and, and kind of letting them stay in the game. We had a few opportunities to extend it out to a double-digit lead and we wouldn't get a rebound or we'd have it on offense and we would turn it over and, and let them stay in the game. Um, but we have a lot of guys uh, back from last year's team. So, you know, last year's run, getting to the Civic Center, making it to the, you know, district semifinals, um, I think is something that's been useful. Can you share with us what you said to your team after the game? Uh, you know, it was, it was mostly celebratory. Um, you know, like I said, tournament wins are just hard to come by. Um, there's a lot of good teams that season ended last night, so we're very fortunate and, and happy to still be playing. You know, Youngstown East was a very good team, and, uh, you know, obviously, you know, their season came to an end and ours extends. So, you know, it was mostly just celebratory, but also letting them understand that uh, this has just got to be the beginning for us. Um, you know, tournament basketball is great, but we don't want it to be short. So we know that we've got to be better in practice today and tomorrow if we want to beat Wooster. And we're going to have to play better on Saturday than we did on Thursday if we want to extend our season. The Tigers will now play at Worcester this Saturday night in a sectional final. We'll talk more with Coach Cruz about the game and visit with Tiger co-captain Brent Martin in a moment. But first, this word from Reliable Heating and Cooling. Everything that goes into a Lennox system is engineered for absolute comfort. Like the parts that create your perfect temperature and humidity. Or the parts that purify the air. Together, all these parts save you up to half of your heating and cooling bills. And there are few things more comforting than that. The future of home comfort is here now at Reliable Heating and Cooling. Get the latest innovation and technology at Reliable. Linux. Innovation never felt so good. Thank you to Reliable Heating and Cooling, and welcome back to the Michael Cruz Show. The Tiger player joining us this week is Brett Martin. Brett, your team is coming off a tournament win last night over Youngstown East. How do you feel about the win? Well, I feel good. It's a tournament win. you got to feel good about all tournament wins, but just got to move on to Worcester on Saturday. You led the team in scoring last night with 27 points. You hit five three-pointers in the first quarter. Tell us more about that hot start. Well, like he said, we do a lot of shooting in practice, so I'm used to that. But my teammates just got me the ball in the right position the time I needed to get it. And after the second one, I saw the third one go in, shot the fourth one, and then the fifth one went in. So Your team finished the first half on a 10-2 to two run. How did you feel at halftime about the team's first half performance? Well, I felt good. We were up by five. I think it was 27-22, but we still knew, like, all season we always start the third quarter not how we want to, so we knew the job wasn't done. In what areas do you think the team needs to get better as you move into the sectional finals? Well, definitely the defensive side of the ball. I mean, that's always, that's been a big thing for us this whole year, so definitely the defensive side. Tell us about your next opponent, Wooster. 
Well, we played them the first game of the year. They beat us pretty good, I guess. But I mean, there's nothing that they're nothing that we can't handle. I mean, we beat them. They beat us last year, first game, and we beat them in the playoffs, second round. So it's the same thing this year. Thanks, Brett. Coach, give us your thoughts on Brett's performance last night. I mean, Brett was huge for us. Uh, you know, to, to hit five threes in a game is great, let alone to do it in a quarter. Uh, really set the tone for us. Uh, you know, they were playing some zone, so it's you know, at the end of the day, you can draw up whatever you want. You got to have somebody be able to make shots, and you know, Brett's done that for us all year. So, uh, you know, that's what we expect him to do. Uh, you know, he's one of those players that that you expect to get in the high teens and then into the twenties. Uh, maybe not expect him to go five for five in the first quarter from the three point line, but uh, you know, I wouldn't mind if we did that a little bit more often. But uh, <laughs> ultimately, you know, he's been doing that all year. Brett's one of the best uh, players, you know, not only in our county but I think in the state and. Um, you know, big time players need to step up in big time games, and there's no bigger game than tournament games. The Tigers play at Worcester this Saturday night in a sectional final. You faced them during the regular season and lost. What do you remember the most about that game from the earlier this season? Uh, you know, that one certainly hurt. Uh, you know, 52, to, uh, excuse me, 51 to 72. You know, they beat us up pretty good. It was a five point game at halftime, and they came out in the third quarter and, and went on something like a 27 to 2 type run and, you know, really, really got after us in the second half. But we're a way different team than then. Um, you know, I've watched that game film a couple of times uh, in preparation for Wooster, and, um, you know, it's, it's kind of crazy how much we've improved over the course of the year. But also, uh, you know, our, our rotation is way different. Our lineups are way different. Our, the plays that we run are way different on, on offense and defense. So, um, you know, I think we're very confident. We know we can go in there and win, but we also know we have to play great to do so. And, um, you know, like you said last year, they beat us in the first game of the year, and, and we were able to beat them in the sectional final at their place. And here we are again. They beat us the first game of the year, and we're back at their place in the sectional final. So, uh, you know, they're a very good team. They're very well coached. Um, we're going to have to play our best game that we've played all year. But, um, you know, I'm confident in him, and I'm confident in our team that we will uh, do what we need to do to, to get the win. Your team beat Worcester in the tournament a year ago on the Generals' home floor, as you said. Does that win carry over in any way to this year? Not at all. Um, you know, they're a different team. We're a different team. Um, I think, if anything, that's going to just make them a little bit more focused because last year they beat us in the regular season. And, and sometimes I think you have a tendency, especially high school age kids, to think, well, we already beat them, so we should beat them again. Uh, so I think that by us beating them last year, if anything, I think that they're on extra high alert, understanding that just because we beat them in the regular season doesn't mean that anything's assured on Saturday night. So uh, I don't think it's going to have any bearing on the game at all. I think it's going to be about you know the team that prepares and practices the hardest these next two days, and ultimately the team that executes the best on Saturday night is going to win. What specific things stand out about the Generals when you watch them play? Uh, they play really hard. Um, you know, that's the first thing. Again, I think uh, I think their coaching staff has done a great job this year with their team. Um, they they like to play a very high tempo. Um, they don't necessarily press and trap, but they just the way they play. Um, it, it sort of lulls you into these moments where sometimes you get up and down, and that's what they like to do. Um, they're very versatile. Uh, they have a lot of guys that are capable of scoring 10 to 15 points. And, um, you know, like I said, they, they know their strengths, they know their weaknesses, and they do a good job of highlighting and minimizing those things. What are you focusing on the most as you prepare for the team for Saturday's game? Uh, you know, I thought defensively, as I mentioned earlier, I thought we had one of our better defensive efforts. Uh, we certainly have some things that we have to clean up, but I was very unhappy with our uh, ability to, to, to hold them to one shot. You know, I really thought that, uh, that I think they ended up with almost 20 second chance points, and that's, you know, just way too many if you want to win a tournament game. You know, we're fortunate to give up that many second chance points and still win. Um, we've got to do a better job at the end of game of, uh, of not having careless turnovers. Um, so that's certainly something that we're going to work on as well. Um, but, you know, at this time of year, uh, I think that I'm very confident that, that our coaching staff and our players are going to know everything they're going to do. And they're probably going to know everything that we're going to do. So at the end of the day, it's going to come down to the players out there, you know, executing um, the game plan. And, uh, you know, when you got a guy like Brett Martin, it certainly helps. Thanks, Coach. As we wrap up another edition of the Michael Crew Show, we want to thank Reliable Heating and Cooling for sponsoring our program. And thanks to Coach Cruz and Brett Martin for joining us. I'm your host, Deering Washington. Thanks for watching, and as always, go Tigers.
Hello, welcome to Tiger Paws. Today we're at Washington High School and we're going to highlight one of our career tech programs, Construction Trades, which is under the direction of Von Moeller. So hey, how about going inside? Well, we've made it into Von Moeller's uh, paradise here. It's his uh, Construction Trades office. Behind us here we have a um, um, a shed that the group of kids is working on and I know that they've sold a few of those over the years and actually we have this one for sale so if you have any interest make sure you contact Vaughn or Washington High School and then we can make sure that you get that in your possession. But uh, there are lots of great things going on in this program and, and this is one of them and around this uh, office area there's different projects that kids are working on but we also have like a major project, it's an outdoor project for the first time that we've, that we've ever had and um, so we're building a pavilion outside. We don't have a name for it yet, but it's going to be a pavilion so that our kids can work inside and outside and get a broad experience. So at this point we're going to turn it over to Vaughn and you can certainly let us know what great things are going on. My name is Mr. Moeller. I graduated from Washington High School in 1996 and this is my third year teaching the Construction Trades program. My favorite part about teaching at Maslin is um, the relationships I get to build with the students. Um, not only in the classroom and in the shop, but outside of school too, and, and helping them progress as far as um, finding them jobs, um, getting them to be responsible for their actions and themselves as far as attendance and showing up on time. Um, those things are the most rewarding. Here in construction, uh, when the students join, uh, if they join as a sophomore, they're going to learn the basics. They're going to learn how to read a tape measure, use the hand tools, um, use some, some smaller power tools. As they progress, uh, become juniors and seniors, they start to build a shed. Um, this year we're currently building an outdoor pavilion um, that's going to house our outdoor workspace so the kids can work outside, um, not get rained on, not get snowed on. Um, they'll just have to bundle up a little bit because it might be chilly some days. Currently we're working on the, the outdoor pavilion, which is our outdoor workspace. Um, it's something that the students can work on with us through the whole year. Um, they get to see other contractors come in that are assisting us. Um, they also get to do step by step from start to finish of a project that you know goes from footers and foundation to setting the trusses, to putting the roof on it, to the finished product, and it's something they can be proud of when it's finished. I joined cosmetology because I've always loved coloring hair and different colors and makeup. I joined media because I've always had a passion for all things related to media. I've always had a passion for teaching other people, especially topics that I'm interested in. I want to pursue a career as an orthopedic surgeon. And so when I saw that we had this class, I immediately circled it on my schedule and was excited to join. This class has made me better because it made me very responsible. I like the relationships that I've developed in this class. The girls that are in here with me, I've really grown close with all of them. I joined this class because I enjoy helping others and I want to make a difference. Even like just making something and having people go, wow, that's really interesting. It means the world. It was just a really good environment to be in. It was real hands-on and it was just something I really wanted to do.
I joined the construction trades to gain experience in the job I want in the future. Everything that this class has taught me will account for my career in the future. Before I came to this class, I was unemployed and Ms. Markley helped me get a job. I'm going to use what I learned in manufacturing in order to better decide my career. It gave me more knowledge on cars and gave me plans to go in the auto industry. Maslin CTE works for me. 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 Works for me. For me. For me. For me. Maslin CTE works for me. For me.